Well, hello again, YouTube. Nice to meet you. Uh, nothing much to report. No big announcements except for one that's coming up. <laughs> Although you can tell that from the uh, from the title. Uh, but no, life's going on as normal in uh, in lockdown UK. Uh, the biggest thing is that I've had my garden dug up finally. <laughs> I'm not a gardener. I hate garden and I do not like mowing lawns. So I just had it all dug up. It was it was a bog anyway, because the uh, our garden's at the back of the house and it's lower than the front. So what happens is when it rains all the rainwater washes down the side of the house and it sits on the garden and uh, and it became really boggy and we've got a dog of course and the dog goes and it's all bumpy, you know, the lawn. Oh, I've tried for years uh, without success to make that garden uh, nice. So I just thought we'll just have the whole thing dug up and we'd just, we'd just put uh, white pebbles all over. And we're going to get a bit, little bit of, what do you call it, fake grass mats uh, and a picnic table. And we've already got the parasol. We're just waiting for the picnic table this week and uh, yeah it'll be a really nice garden and I'm, it's just in time because next week's going to be a scorcher i mean it's it's the middle of june now but look at me i'm in a padded wax jacket and i've got uh, a sweater on and polar neck <laughs> it's about 15 degrees today and it's the middle of june but next week it's going to be a scorch and i think it's going to be hot for the next two weeks hot and dry so uh, uh it's it's done just in time and uh the picnic table's coming on i think tuesday or wednesday uh so yeah we'll be able to sit out there i'm going to get a barbecue as well and uh, we'll be able to have barbecues it's going to be nice for a change <laughs> after years of struggling with a boggy garden it's going to be nice we'll just be able to go there and relax okay so as you can see from the uh, from the title i have a new e-pipe and i'm going to show it you now and the e-pipe e came from a maker in slovakia called epos epos but his website is quite creative he uh he, he spelt it 3po5.com so go and have a look uh, in fact, you'll be able to see my uh, e-pipe on there in his gallery. I think he only works to commission. I don't think he actually has a store. I think he makes a pipe when he has a commission. Uh, so definitely go and check out his website and, and see uh, see some of his, the examples of his work. So I asked for a traditional pipe modelled off what's called the Savonelli 320. Now the problem with the Savonelli 320 is it's a very, uh, it's a, what, what would be the word, it's not very tall, it's like a stubby little pipe. And of course you've got to fit in uh, an 18350 into an e-pipe. So we couldn't actually do uh, the height, we had to go higher than the 18320, oh, sorry the, the Savonelli 320, but I think we'll find it's 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 still a beautiful pipe and i am so pleased with it so let me show you first things first though look at that box it comes in handmade box i believe it's handmade it looks handmade so it doesn't just uh, make the uh, the e-pipe but it comes in this beautiful wooden box so i'm going to open it up are you ready bated breath drum roll there we go so there's the pipe in the box it actually comes separated so the bits are separate uh, and he does this because he actually puts the battery inside uh, the bowl when it's in transport because he, he puts the button in situ in the in the pipe bowl now a lot some makers they, they will actually uh, put the, the button separate 
that he actually puts it in situ and I suppose that that helps to protect in case it uh, gets it gets scratched or damaged it's much safer when it's in situ but that means you've got to have the battery inside so you've got the weight behind the button because it's a strong magnet that holds it in uh, to actually knock out the button when you get it but let me take it out the box and uh, we'll go through the pipe um, in more detail and I'll show you what you actually get so there it is this way there she is it's made of briar briar wood and the first thing when you talk to him and you email him and uh, you inquire about him making a pipe the first thing or one of the first things he will ask you is uh, what tank or RTA RDA are you going to use and he asks that because he will then make the pipe to fit the RDA so it's, everything's custom just for what you want uh, it's, it's a beautiful beautiful pipe the, the button as well, I love that button, it's it's very round, very comfortable to feel, but if you look, it's level, and what he's done is he's just flattened it, whereas some will have it as a dome, the button, he's, he's leveled it, and he's just flattened the top, but it's still nice and curved around the edges. The only complaint, and I emailed him about this, the only complaint I have with this pipe, and in my opinion it's a very, very big complaint that he needs to address, is he doesn't stamp them. An artist who doesn't stamp his work. That's, that's a crying shame. It's a beautiful pipe. The grain, the staining, the carving, and he doesn't stamp them. He's actually emailed back and he said he's, he's bought himself a stamp. <laughs> so future future pipes will be stamped. Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful pipe. Let's have a vape. I've already I've already got it set up. A really nice vape. Of course, that's nothing to do with the, the bowl, <laughs> but it's just it just feels so nice in the hand. It's just such a lovely size. It's not overly big. It's about the same size actually as probably the uh, the Savinelli 320, except for the height. The Savinelli 320 is actually shaped like that, but it's more squat. That's the word I was looking for. It comes to about here. The Savinelli 320. Where, whereas because of the battery, where the top of the battery is, is actually where, where the Savinelli 320 ends. So, so it has to be raised for the button. And I'm vaping some uh, cabbies mixture, which is a Virginia Amperique. Appropriately termed a vapor, I call it a vapor. It's a Virginia Perique. And I must say, I made this about a year ago, I think it was, and it's still a beautiful. In fact, it's even better. A lot of my other liquids haven't really changed that much in flavour, but this one has the per, uh, the perique, the pepperiness that you got right at the start, has, has completely sort of gone into the background, and it's now mixing really well with 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 the toffee, caramelly, Virginia flavours. It's a little bit like, you know, when you first heard about uh, caramel and salt <laughs> or, or toffee and salt uh, and you think, oh God, that must be horrible <laughs> and you taste it and actually it's, it's really nice. Uh, it's the same sort of thing. You've got these really nice toffee notes and then just in the background, you've got this nice pepperiness and the two flavours really marry together well. Uh, but oh, it's such a it's such a nice pipe to hold, and oh, 
what else really impressed me oh before i say that i love these wide mouthpieces as you can see there it, it's actually a wide opening that to me just increases flavor because it's like it's like a broad stream of vapor that's going into your mouth and it's touching more of the taste buds whereas with you know the small holes uh you're just getting like a, it's just being fired in and sometimes you can find these sort of e-pipe stems which are quite broad but if you're not careful it's still got a little hole here you're much better getting the ones with the wide opening it just really improves the flavor but yeah what i was saying is that what i'm really impressed with this is that you know i was saying the first thing he asks you is, is what uh, sort of tank or atomizer system you're going to be using and he asks that because he, he'll build it specifically for that he then gives it you <laughs> So it came with the Berserker and all the bits and pieces that comes with the Berserker, all the screwdriver, uh, the two coils, I've got one in here now, it's a bit too resistant for me, it's got a quite high resistance, or a low resistance, sorry, it's a 0.3 ohms and that's a bit too low for me. Uh, but I've, I've bought a box of uh, ready-made coils because I'm lazy. I can make them. I've got a coil making kit that it, the cheapest chips. It's ten p a coil, <laughs> and a coil lasts me a week. So I just I just buy them. I got hundred for a tenner, and uh, at around I think there were two ohms. I, I usually like about one one point five, one point eight, something like that. But they, they'd sold out, so I've got some two ohm coils, and I'll be using them next. Uh, but yeah, it gives you then the. Uh, the tank, the, <laughs> the dripper, uh, with the pipe. So in the box you've got, and that's unusual because normally you get the bowl and you get the mouthpiece and you've got to supply your own tank or whatever. But no, he gives it you. So right, literally right out of the box, <laughs> you're, set, you're good to go. You can stop vaping. And if you chose a tank system, not a dripper, uh, just screw it together, pour in some e-liquid and off you trot. <laughs> You're good to go, you know. But I like drippers with e Oh, I like drippers with e-pipes uh, for two reasons, and especially the Berserker. And I'm, I'm pleased to say that he actually agreed that in his opinion, the Berserk is probably the best uh, rebuildable dripping atomizer, RDA, uh, for e-pipes. Uh, and for me, it's for two reasons. One is it keeps it keeps your attention on the bowl. All of this just sort of like blends into the background. Uh, there's nothing flash here. There's no shiny metal there's no liquid or anything glass it, it sort of like just fades into the background and your attention is drawn to the actual artistry and craftsmanship as it should be as it should be and secondly i like dripping because it it's sort of for me anyway it fits my style of, of vaping and e-pipe in, in that uh, to me e-pipes are something that you vape when you just want to take 15 or 20 minutes out of your day just relax and just be in the moment and dripping for me helps me to be in the moment because well you've always got to be aware of what's going on in here <laughs> why are you going to get a nasty shock when you get that dry hit uh, so you've always got to be aware of what's going on in here and you do that through taste so it keeps your mind on uh, the flavour of the liquid and how it's changing as the, the wick is starting to dry. And it gets to a point just before you're about to get that dry hit and you think, oh, <laughs> I better put a few more drops in here. Because <laughs> the last thing you want is a dry hit. <laughs>
especially with something like a 0.3 ohm coil. So yeah, to me, in fact, saying that, I do need to put some in. I'm just getting that little taste. It says, hello, <laughs> I'm starting to dry out. For about a 15 minute vape or a 20 minute vape, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that'll do. For a 15 minute vape, I usually, if I've got like a, a nice sort of like 1.8 on coil in, the way I vape, I may have to drip once, uh, 20 minutes, you know once twice something like that uh obviously i'm not puffing all the time on it and uh usually i don't use uh, these low resistant coils this this 0.3 uh it just eats through your e-liquid so with this one with this coil i've got in now which comes with the berserker uh yeah i'm having to drip a lot more but normally 15 20 minute vape uh, with the, you know, given the fact of how many times I puff on it, uh, maybe once or twice in 15 minutes, I'll have to, I'll have to just drip. Uh, but it's all part of the, the process. It's all part of being in the moment, if you will, uh, or at least it is for me, and that's why I enjoy it. I think, I think dripping is just so suited to e pipes. Another thing that surprised me when I opened the box, you know how I said he puts the, the battery inside the bowl to give it the weight so you can knock the button out. Well, he gives you a spare one as well. So you get two 18350 batteries and the charger. He actually gives you a charger for the battery, a single charger, a USB charger for the batteries. Who else does that? <laughs> I was I was gobsmacked when I opened that, that box. I was absolutely gobsmacked. Uh, two batteries. I thought it was one because he puts it in the in the little compartment at the bottom. Uh, let's have a look and open it. So 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 he's got this compartment here at the bottom, and that's where he had the charger and he had a little battery next to it there. Oh, these are my coils, by the way. Uh, Camphor A1. There you go. Uh, cheapest chips and uh, saves time as well. You've just got to thread it with your cotton. That's all. Uh, so yeah, in here was the uh, was the charger, and I was just amazed. And I thought I'd just have the one battery, and then of course I realised there's a battery in here as well. So you get two batteries and a charger, and the berserker and all the bits that come with the berserker. So I'm definitely, definitely going to buy another one off him uh, this year before it costs me in tax. Thumbs up to those who voted for higher costs four years ago. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Not to mention lower food quality, tick. Uh, lower environmental standards, tick. Fewer freedoms, tick. And it appears now that we're going to have fewer human rights. Idiots. Idiots. And now it's going to cost. Well, if this wasn't in Europe, it would probably cost another £100 for me to bring it through customs. Absolute idiots. Anyway. So I'm going to buy another one off him this year before uh, it, it could be very costly to bring this pipe into the UK. <laughs> okay, so I hope you like the pipe. I'm loving it. I think it's a beautiful pipe.
the new pipe I'm going to order off him is like, uh, it's called a Bulldog or a Rhodesian. And the reason I've chosen that is because I used to enjoy watching a YouTube video. The channel was called Matches860. And he sadly died in, uh, in January. And this guy was huge in the YouTube pipe smoking community. He was like one of the founders of it. You know, he's been making videos for 10 or 12 years. Really gentle bloke, very unassuming, very humble. And he made some really nice videos. And he used to smoke the Savinelli. And his most famous one was the Friday Savinelli. Because he, he ate it up, he ate it, he smoked it on a, on a Friday. And it's, uh, it's a bulldog shape. And when he died, everybody in the YouTube pipe smoking community were just like, oh my God, you know. And they asked Savinelli to make a commemorative pipe in his honour. And they did, because he was such a huge figure. Uh, now, of course, I didn't buy one because I don't smoke. But I really enjoyed his videos. I still watch them today. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a handmade bulldog pipe? Won't be exactly the same, because again, you've got the height and... His pipe was very squat, like a squat bulldog. Uh, but it was sort of like me, my tribute uh, to John, to match his 860. And I can vape it on a, on a Friday in his honour. Because even though I don't smoke a pipe, I, I really enjoyed his videos and he taught me so much about different types of tobacco, which is useful for me because I, I make my own NET tobacco. So it's useful to know about the tobaccos. And uh, yeah, I got a lot from his videos. So anyway, I can see I'm coming up to 20 minutes and I don't want to take any more of your time. Hmm. That cabbie's mixture, now that the Parika settled down. <laughs> I've got a beer, you've probably seen. So I'm going to go and have my beer and uh, have a few more puffs on this. But definitely check out this guy's website, definitely do. His, uh, his, his communication is fantastic. Uh, he really makes sure that he understands what pipe you want before he starts making it. And if you buy one, you're not going to be disappointed. Absolutely. I'm going to get myself some canola oil. And every week when I do a bit of maintenance on the uh, on the dripper, change the coil and uh, just wipe it clean and check inside and everything, uh, I'm going to get some canola oil and I'll buff it. As I will with the Underwood mods as well. Just give them a buff of canola oil uh, and keep keep them really nice and clean and pristine. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing my new pipe. Give Epos a look. Look at his website. I'll put the link down below. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye for now.